Hi, my name's Stephen Evans. I'm one of the members of KLFR, Kings and Crew Runners. Um, I was personally involved with doing this, uh, this parkour park in the design and actually trying to get it built here in Kings Lynn. It was a major, a major three year, uh, three year struggle to get it, but we finally done it and we finally convinced the public and other mem uh, and members of the council and other various places that it's something that's needed. It's not just, it's not just a place where it's, no, it's just going to be used and abused and then that's it, it's, it's done and dusted. It's, it stops everyone from getting into hassle doing it in town, doing it on uh, rooftops, because now we have, we have our own facility where it's available to us without us getting into any hassle. From all the design aspects that we've gone through and drawn up, had a look at, had test um, test graphics done from it, it's incredible. It, like, to see the final piece actually have been built, it just looks amazing. There's no problem whatsoever using any of the structure. There's nothing wrong with it. It's 100% usable and I'm, I'm certainly going to be on it as much as I can be. Parkour and free running has affected me in a very good way. It's, it's made me a lot better of a person. It's made me chill out a lot more. It's made me realise that there's, there's bigger things out there than like having anything trouble-wise or anything to do with hassle. Like being young, I used to obviously, as everyone would, have uh, moments of like um, antisocial behaviour. But taking up free running, it's it stopped all that. I, I don't see a need in it anymore. I just go out and do whatever I can and just have fun. Hello, I'm Sarah and I'm a PCSA at Kings Lynn. I personally think the facility is absolutely fantastic for these guys. Um, and it'll probably make my life a little bit easier as well. We obviously, these guys got interested in uh, parkour and uh, they started to crop up in the town centre, causing sort of what we call antisocial behaviour. Um, using buildings, uh, etc., to obviously uh, do their sport. And uh, this is uh, how we've obviously uh, come to where we are today. And uh, they've got this lovely facility. Jason, I can see this uh, people uh, travelling from quite some distance uh, Cambridge, Norwich, Peterborough come and use this facility as well and it's obviously ideally located next to the train station. So I believe that um, obviously we try and encourage them to get involved in this and uh, hopefully positive things will come out of it. This is part of my patch so sort of come down to see what, it, see what it's all about. Uh, deal about social behaviour if it occurs or just maintain relationships within the community really. All parts of it, young old. And we know some of the guys from in town, the parkour or Kings Inn Club so because they're running and jumping on areas they shouldn't have been, but now they've got this, they can, they can run and jump to their heart's content. So yeah, we're happy that this is here. PC Neil Wilson, the beat manager for um, Gaywood and Fairstead in Kings Lynn, which takes in this part of the walk. This has been constructed on part of my beat and I'm very pleased to see it. These guys haven't really got anywhere to go in this town uh, other than some of the, the old ancient walls and everything else which is obviously not conducive with them running over it all the time. But now they've got somewhere that they can really let their hair down. If it's somewhere that they can do their thing, that's great. From a personal point of view, these guys when you say antisocial behaviour, they're not involved in the drinking um, side of things. In terms of antisocialness, it's really just causing minor damage to um, sort of street furniture and whatnot.
My name's Jamie Finney. I'm one of the lead coaches at Califar and I helped design the park. Uh, that section there where everyone is, um, that was my main main uh, involvement in the park. Everyone seems to love it. Um, there's quite a variation of things to do and things to try and progress to. We trained in town, Kingston, uh, travel sometimes, Norwich and Cambridge, but mainly around Lynn, just here and there really. Uh, we get a lot of people say this is private property or uh, can you not do that around here, it seems antisocial. In town we always get told um, there's people about so don't do it, but even, even though we get told that we get everyone watching us anyway. So The park is how it was designed, it looks exactly like the picture apart from it's the other way around. Other than that, everything, everything's fine. Um, walls are perfect, the bars thick, uh, thickness is perfect, the distance, um, the heights, everything's just good, really. <laughs> I tell them to come here and start with small jumps and uh, condition in their body first, then progress into harder and more difficult. Keeps you fit, keeps you healthy, something to do. And like, like I say, there's loads of people there, a lot of new friends, made a new new um, friends, a lot of new people. It, does, it keeps you fit, gives you adrenaline rush, you know, it's exciting and again, loads of people do it, it's all fresh. Yeah, when you're young you think, what's, what's there to do? You think, that could be fun, that's exciting. So you knock on people's doors and run away from them, but now we've actually got a discipline to, you know, train, train in and progress to, so there's always something new to do. Uh, it keeps us off the street. Like we say, we're not doing no drugs, no loitering, no drinking. Uh, I'm Sarah Gosling. I'm grant manager with REN. We provide grant funding for community projects throughout the UK uh, surrounding landfill sites owned by FCC Environmental. Our funding is typically given to play areas, recreation grounds, and this one's fantastic. Such different projects. They have to do application to rent and it has to be a constituted body that applies. If it's a council or if it's uh, their own group, as long as it's a constituted group, then they can apply to funding. They have a constitution, they have a treasurer, they have a chairman, they have a, uh, a set number of meetings per year, they have something that they're, they're rules for operation. It is difficult, it does need a bit of commitment to do, it's not something you can fit in overnight. It's a preparation to, to get your project sorted out is the main thing. Yeah. Speak to your local council, there's community development workers that will help with projects. If not in your local counties, you've got rural community councils or CBAs, uh, community voluntary associations that will give advice and support in how to prepare projects. The main thing that the funders are looking for is who wants it, why do you want it, can you prove it. Everything you do community-wise for consultation you have to show that it's happened, you have to keep tangible evidence, be it photos of the events, be it minutes, be it questionnaires, petitions, you need to show the funders who wants it or why they want it or what they want. And if they have a, uh, an input into the design of it, how they've had that input. It's not something you're going to get within a week of asking for it. It could take a year of getting the consultation, local support, evidence before you can even apply for funding. Yeah, sustainability, that's an issue as well. It's not the sustainability of the equipment. The, the concrete's been there for 20 years. It's the sustainability of the people who are going to use it. Here at Kingsley, they have the training centre set up where they do courses every week for parkour training. If you've got something that, that can do that, can offer the training for the young ones coming up and offer support for how to learn, then that's making it sustainable. And you get people using it week, week in, week out for years to come.